Welcome to the 23rd year of the Hope of America. We are so excited about this this evening. Dylan said I could stand by him and he's going to smile. So thank you. Um, we thank Kathy McDonald for her vision and building the foundation of this program. We thank all those that have been involved, our sponsors. And I'm Sherry Peterson. I'm with America's Freedom Festival. America's Freedom Festival sponsors Hope of America, as well as over 25 different events. You can look at americasfreedomfestival.org to find out more about these events. We sponsor the Stadium of Fire, and that's the one I think you know best. We are so excited this year to announce that we have the Entertainer of the Year coming, Keith Urban. It's going to be a great show. Get your tickets while you can. Thank you. We're selling commemorative pins um, along the concourse tonight, marking the 50th anniversary of Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong walking on the moon. You can get your pins, and with the purchase of some of these pins, they'll be giving away free Stadium of Fire tickets. We thank the sponsors of this evening's program. They've been listed on these video boards. Make special recognition to the Lieutenant Governor's Office of Civic and Character Education. We want to thank BYU. It's been such a pleasure to be able to be in this beautiful venue, celebrate this evening with you, and work with so many professionals. Thank you so much. Tonight, help me give special thanks to the director of this entire event, Sherry Anderson. Sherry, please step forward. Sherry's family has come from as far away as Minnesota to be with her. They've never seen this, so they get to witness it with this beautiful chorus. We're excited. Sam Francis, Gary Francis, and Cliff Mogg are responsible for the majority of the music produced tonight that will be heard. We have Raquel Acosta and Michelle Oxborough Lloyd leading our chorus. And the most important, best thanks we can give anybody is for these wonderful children. These children are, these children are the hope of America. They are our light. They are our inspiration. We love them. We thank their teachers that have put so much time into this production. We thank the principals and the superintendents for allowing this to happen tonight. This is a memory that will last a lifetime for these children. The Hope of America honors the military. They honor their first responders, police, fire, emergency room doctors, all those that are with us that keep us safe and keep us free. Tonight, we want to make a special recognition of Claire Oliphant. Claire is turning 100 years old. He was in World War II. In 1942, he joined the Air Force. Thank you. In 1944, he was shot down over Germany. He was a POW, so here he is. We're so grateful that he loves America. He doesn't talk about how hard it was as a prisoner of war. Everything he talks about is how wonderful our country is. We thank you, Claire, thank you. Please direct your attention to our video boards this evening. You can find out about the perspective of Provo City Fire Captain Dean York. 
And following this uh, video, Dr. David Anderson of Timpanogos Emergency Room Doctor will offer the invocation. Dr. Anderson reminded me that pretty much everybody gets to know the emergency room staff. So we thank you, Dr. Anderson. The posting of the colors will be by Independence High School, and following that, we'll appreciate Colonel David Miller leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Yeah, so we were, we were dispatched for a 21-year-old playing basketball at a, at a fitness center, and, and he tips over and collapses and goes into cardiac arrest. Police officer had just beat us there who started the initial CPR. CPR had not been started for this person. You know, four to six minutes is all you can go. And if nothing's being done in that four to six minutes that they're not breathing, the outcome isn't very good. As the life pack came on and we realized that he's in V-fib, our newest medic is like, I can shock that rhythm. I can save this kid. And so he shocks him and he goes from V-fib to asystole to flat line. And I said to Scotty, look, let's, let's give him some epi. Let's kickstart that heart. And so we pushed the epi and this guy spontaneously began to breathe and got his heart rate back. We go to visit him a couple days later and we introduced ourselves to his mom. So she goes over to his bedside and says, Dad, these are two of the guys that helped save your life. And, and he looked at us and said, thank you, I appreciate that. And he had a 10 day memory loss. He, he didn't remember going to play basketball. He didn't remember us visiting him in the hospital, but that was really his only deficits. So now we're Facebook friends and, and, and we follow one another. And I see pictures of him on dates. I see pictures of him exercising and It's, it's gratifying that he has a life ahead of him. It wasn't me, it was a team effort that, that made that happen. But it's, it's cool to, to see with the tools that you have, the training that you have, you make a difference in someone else's life. So. That's what happens when you become an old medic, is you become a lot more emotional, I think. Nothing can, can touch your heart more than looking square in the eyes of somebody who, who may not have been here had you not done everything in your power to, to intervene. Greatest part of the career. Our dear Father in heaven, we are indeed grateful this day for this opportunity to be here in this wonderful event to celebrate this great nation and our neighbors and our friends and these young people. They truly are the hope of America. We're grateful for the blessings of this great land and the promises that are to all that come. We ask you a special blessing for thy spirit in this venue tonight. As we partake of this great celebration, we ask a special blessing on these young people. Give them answers to their prayers. Bless them with their dreams. Help them in their life. Bless us that we may be examples and that we might be of service to others. We ask thee to bless us that we might serve like those that serve around us. Please bless those that are serving this great country in lands far away. Bless their families, give them peace. We ask you to bless those that serve and secure our safety in our neighborhoods, our police officers, our firefighters, and those that help. Bring them home both morning and night to their families. 
that they may embrace their children as we embrace our children and our families. We ask a special blessing on those that perform tonight, that they may perform to the best of their ability. We're again thankful for this great nation and give thee this thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Will the audience please rise as Independence High School ROTC presents our nation's flag. Please join us in reciting our nation's Pledge of Allegiance, after which we will join the chorus in singing the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Hope of America Student Showcase. At this time, we ask the families of our students serving in the military to please stand. Our military and their families demonstrate courage, sacrifice, and love of country. We dedicate this performance and honor you today as we sing Thank You, Military.
Here in America, citizens participate in making our country what it is. We choose our leaders, work in our communities, and join each other in getting things done. In the spirit of an American pep rally, we invite the audience to participate in our next number. Follow the chorus and our USA pep squad in hand actions, clapping, and the wave while we sing This is America. about the patriots who sacrificed everything to secure our liberties and freedoms. Men like George Washington, Patrick Henry, Jefferson, Paul Revere, and Hamilton each wrote their story.
People from every corner of the world have come to America to make a new home. Students will represent some of many nationalities that have strengthened our country as they perform All Kinds of People Came to America.
In 1966, Utah celebrated its 100th birthday as a state. As part of the centennial celebration that year, Provo's Freedom Festival invited school children to perform the song, Utah, This Is The Place, at the very first Hope of America Student Showcase. We continue to celebrate all the things we love about Utah and ask the audience to please join us as we sing our state song, Utah. The Declaration of Independence is the most important of all American historical documents, eloquently validating the ideals of the American Revolution to the world. It boldly declares that all men are created equal and summarizes the principles of our unique American government. Enjoy as we sing the Declaration of Independence.
Constitution is the cornerstone of our democracy. One important part of the Constitution was added to protect the rights of citizens. It's called the Bill of Rights. First responders, especially those who so courageously fought the Pole Creek Fire in the Nebo School District, we dedicate our next song to you. To give them the proper accolades they so deserve, we bring on to the floor Mike Johnson and the Utah County Sheriff's Department. you're probably wondering why I'm on the floor. Okay, I'm kind of wondering too. But BYU has something um, they've been working on. Um, it actually started with Black Ridge Elementary School. Hey, Black Ridge! 
Okay, okay. Okay, Heather Johnson, their principal, uh, sent me an email and um, she had gotten in contact with um, what, a, a staff sergeant uh, that wanted to FaceTime his family during our event. And so we have BYU just now, they've been working on it all day. It's come in and out because he's actually over in the Middle East and we're trying to get contact with him and we just now, so we're interrupting this song. So will the family of Staff Sergeant Lonnie Peterson please come to the floor? I need Ashley, Staff Sergeant's wife, Ashley. I need Tylee. I need J Come on over, hon. Come on. Here comes Tylee. And Beckham, right? And J Jadam? Beckham? Okay. And, okay. And here's Mom. Okay. All right. And Ashley. Okay. We have such a special moment here. I want you guys to know we've been working so hard to get contact with your dad, okay? Um, we know we honor our military during this time, but we want to really bring attention to the families because you guys sacrifice so much during this time while your dad or your mom, um, grandpa and grandma are away. So let's recognize that this is the Peterson family. Okay. All right. Okay, so I want to bring your attention now to the video screen, okay? And we're going to try to bring contact up with... There he is, there he is, okay. I think we got him. There he is. Okay, can we get him? What's wrong, BYU? You said you had it. Don't you have him? Come on, can you get the audio? You can't get the audio? Okay, everybody, we've been, seriously, we've been working on this all day. He got in 20 minutes ago, and we had someone pick him up at the airport. And so, the, we, this has been a last minute working hard all day to get this guy home. Yes.
Will the families of these heroes please stand so we can spot them and give them a round of applause for their everyday acts of heroism? The organization behind this fabulous symbol of our country is called Follow the Flag. Their vision is to inspire the unity, love, and service that gave birth to this great nation. The flag as the symbol of the sacred principle that we are one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All across the country, our flag waves proudly in the air as a symbol of our great nation and the freedoms we enjoy. In every town and city, and across the farmlands, too, there's old glory, the red, white, and blue.
country is expressed in the song, I Love America. The Hope of America production was conceived and created by the vision of Kathy McDonald. At this time, we welcome Kathy home from her mission in Zimbabwe. We invite her to the stand to direct the choir in one of her favorite Hope of America songs, America Rocks.
We hope this program has encouraged us in our love of America and in the determination to be the kind of citizens that will keep this country free. We close our program with a reminder to us all that we can be a light. Okay.